Hello friends, my name is Andrea Farley. I'm the Canon for Discipleship here in the Diocese of Spokane. Each fall, our diocese engages a common formation series together around a particular theme. I'm so excited to share with you that our theme for this fall is Creating Our Way Through, a film and discussion series on art and God. When we open the Bible, the first thing we learn about God is that God creates. In poetic form, we see God creating trees and birds, fish and animals. Then God creates humankind and invites us to be part of the ongoing creative work in our world. Art and creativity do not just show up in scripture in beauty and creation. Art and creativity are also provocative. Prophets are given dreams by God and asked to create elaborate artistic expressions or dramatic productions to relay a message. We see that art can sometimes convey a message or a truth that cannot be accessed merely through words. Art can provoke us to recognizing injustice, brokenness, places in our hearts and in the world around us that need the presence of God. Art is evocative. Jesus' favorite way of teaching was through storytelling. His stories were so evocative that not only did they connect deeply to his listeners then, they still connect deeply with us today. Art evokes a response. It evokes joy and delight, recognition of ourselves, and recognition of the very face of God. Art is healing. At some of the darkest moments in my own life, I have turned to creating art. Now that art has taken different forms and formats, but each and every time I have stepped into creativity, I have found it to be a place of healing. Now you may think, I'm not creative, I'm not artistic. Many of us who say this do so because we are thinking of creativity as a means to performance or production. So we think that if we're not able to write a Broadway-worthy show or a gallery-worthy painting, that we are somehow not creative. Far from it! Creativity is not about performance or productivity. Creativity is nothing short of stepping closer to our God who lives and moves in creativity. Creativity is not a distraction from the world around us. Art and creativity invite us deeper into our world and deeper into engagement with God. A God who cares and values us so much that he sent Jesus to tell us precisely that. Art and creativity invite us deeper into engaging our world, our neighbors, the brokenness and injustice around us, as well as the immensity of beauty and love all around us. Friends, if there's a time of needing to remember our God as the creator of lavish beauty, if there is a time of importance around seeing injustice and pain in a deeper way, if there is a time of being moved and changed by beauty, and if there is a time when we need healing, that time is now. This series has five video and discussion segments to it. These will be available for download or for streaming. So whether you are meeting in person or still meeting predominantly online, these will be accessible to you. Each segment is between 5 and 13 minutes long, so they're short enough to where hopefully you can have meaningful conversation together about the topic presented each time. I am so excited to experience this series around art and God with all of you. My prayer is that our diocese will experience the transformational love of our Creator God, both now and while we engage this formation series together.